Hello everybody and welcome back to another video and I just want to let you know right away that this will be um, the last update for a couple of weeks just because um, it's going to take five to six weeks for um, parts to arrive for some reason from lego.com um, because I just order them from there on pick a brick because there's no lego store nearby so I can't just go there and get bricks. Um, but yeah, so five to six weeks. Um, I may get some tiling done because the tiles that I need, the um, two by two tiles that I need, only take five to six days. But the um, I ordered a bunch of trench parts, and those are going to take five to six weeks. Um, I do have some other packages coming, and I do have some filler brick and tiles that I have for this week. But yeah, that's just wanted to give you a heads up. No more um, updates of this after this week for a couple weeks until the new parts arrive. I may get some tiles since those only take a couple days. Um, but no like major updates after this one. Just want to give you that heads up. And without further ado, let's get into the video. So as you can see here, I got three of the um, Hoth Rebel accessory packs. Um, which will be very nice for helping me build an army so with these nine um uh, rebel minifigures and my three from like 2014 or something i now have 12 rebel troopers against 24 um imperial hoth troopers so it the armies are getting there i want to at least get like a couple more of these and maybe one or two more of the um, snow trooper battle packs but i'm not sure i might just leave it at 24 and i might get like one more of these so it's 15 to 24 to make it more even but i also i rebuilt um my old 2014 snow speeder um i did change some of the things like they had a stud shooter right here that i took off and i had to change the color of some things because i couldn't find it or i just had to change the piece totally but yeah so this will be um in the mock just wanted to let you know i rebuilt that and also I do have this old turret here, so I'm going to be taking the turret off and then using all of these pieces for the mock. But, so like, it's not going to be like this. I'm going to totally take this apart, use the, keep the turret intact though, and use these pieces for detailing. Then I also got this, which has more filler brick and some tiles right there. I think I got like 50 or so tiles, so it won't be a lot, but hopefully... I'll be done with the filler brick because all I need is just that little area and then to raise it all up by one. So hopefully it will be done. And I also have more trench pieces than I thought. So I'll be able to start this trench right here and maybe start this one a little bit. But we're just going to focus on this little one right here just to see how it looks. And so yeah, I'm going to do the filler brick and some of the tiling and i'll see you then so i got one of the rebel accessory packs done and these are going to be really helpful in building the army and giving them a bit more weapons like the turrets which i probably won't be using these in the mock just because like if they had the pipe that connected them to the turret i would but they're just kind of random and then this turret i may or may not like take off the snow pieces and detail it differently um, but I will definitely be using the turret and all the people. The people are really nice. Um, they're basic, though, because it's just a battle pack, so nothing crazy. Just some leg and torso printing and then the face, obviously. Um, the one with the tan um, torso, though, doesn't have any leg printing, um, which is a bit sad. But it's a good set altogether. So, yeah, I still have two more to build. And um, I'm going to get to working on the trench now, but just wanted to update you. So I used all the trench and tiling and filler brick that I have left. So I have no more trench pieces. Um, I almost completed it. I just have a little bit of studs left. Like over there is completed. And all of these is completed except for just this area right here. I just decorated it with some crates just to see how it would look. So yeah, I really like how this turned out take all the crates out so you can see i added some dirt here because um on this old set 
it had like dirt everywhere from being kicked up. So I just took some of that off and added it in here. I'm probably gonna do that for every trench, um, just because more detail um, is a better mock. But yeah, so I'm really happy with how this turned out. Um, like I said in the beginning, it'll take five to six weeks for all the pieces to come, which is sad because they're all trench pieces. Um, and I'm thinking of building a little like elevated space right here with like a little mountain. It would save on tiling and um, it might even make me take this trench away, which would help me save on trench pieces. But it might just give a little elevation also, just so it's not just flat and going down, but it also goes up a little bit. I think that would be very nice. And I do actually have two more packages on the way for this. Um, they're just Lego sets. They're not, like, pieces or anything. But, yeah, so I did the tiling. I just used most of the tiles, like, barely any studs. Um, and I used some slopes everywhere. Like, over here, I used a jumper plate and some slopes. But, yeah, mostly tiling done. Um, I may get some more plating done because I do have a lot of plates still to put over this. So I'll probably, like, um, well, I don't have enough filler brick right here, so I need to order more of that. Um, I just have six rows left, and then the filler brick is done. So that's, like, 50 or 100 bricks, maybe. Um, but yeah, so I just need a little bit more filler brick. Um, my trench pieces to come, and a lot more tiles. And I think if I don't make, like, a full-on mountain, I will make an elevated area. Because I just want some more, like, detail, something more to look at. But yeah, so I'm going to do some plating, and hopefully the packages will come in time for this video. Here are the packages. I got the Hoth ATSC, which is a really good set. And I got another Snow Trooper Baggle Paddle Pack. I'm um, putting my Snow Trooper Army, I believe, at 28 troopers. And now I only have 13 Rubble Troopers, including Chewbacca. Well, not including Chewbacca. If you can include Chewbacca, I have 14. And then I have Luke, so 15 against 28. And I'm going to try to find my Hoth Han Solo, but I think he's, like, totally taken apart, so it'll be hard. But if I can find him, that would also be great. But so, yeah, I need to get a lot more Rebel Accessory Packs, and I need to build this. It comes with a great Probe Droid build and a great Chewbacca. And the Rebel Trooper is very nice. And this will add... Um, more snow troopers, and even some trench pieces, so maybe I'll complete this trench, but I don't think it has enough of the slopes that I need. I don't think it has enough of these slopes, mostly these, like, bigger slopes, which is sad, but it is what it is. I'll get them eventually. Um, sorry for there not being a video last week. I just had some family from out of state visiting, so I wanted to spend time with them. Uh, but yeah, like I said in the beginning, Sally, no more updates in a couple weeks, so I'll just be doing like smaller mocks and other videos. Um, but I'm gonna get the plating done and then gonna wrap up the video. So I got the ATST built, and this is probably where it will be in the mock. Um, I have this foot one stud um, farther away than this one, and I have these little curved pieces, these curved um, tiles. Um, just so it like leaves a little imprint in the front and I have it wrapping around there Then here's the probe droid. He'll just be somewhere in the mock um, Yeah, they gave they include a clear piece with him, which is nice Because it looks like he's actually um, Flying right there and yeah, he's a really good build um, So yeah, I haven't done the tiling yet um, I'll probably just do that over the week because yeah, it's just going to be, like, gray tiles and black tiles over. So it's not going to change much. Much, sorry. But, yeah. Anyway, that wraps up today's video. Got some of the trench done. Got some filler brick done. And got some packages. And also, I was able to get a little bit more of the trench done. Um, so, like, right here, I got um, these three slopes in along with that. So a little more progress. I just need, like six more slopes to finish this one off and then it's done and then we have one trench done so six six slopes and we have one trench done this one is actually super small like you can see the um, difference in it um and i actually like that because it just adds um like a difference in it so yeah anyway 
Um, hopefully I can get that trench done, this trench done, and that trench done. I mean, hopefully I can get all of them done um, in the next episode when all the pieces come. Um, I hope I ordered enough parts. But yeah, so I'll be ordering tiles over the next couple weeks, and then when the trench pieces come, like, I'll save the tiles. And then when the trench pieces come, I'll just get it all done, and it will hopefully be almost complete um, next episode because it's going to be a couple weeks. So that gives me time to get a lot of pieces here. But anyway, that wraps up today's um, segment or episode. Um, I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like and subscribe. I just got over 50 subscribers, so I'll have a mock contest soon. But yeah, um, as always, have a good day.